Bow wow. Welcome to Dog Star. We are Sun Dogs, and we are sitting down with Caleb Gamson. Hey, yo. How you feeling? I'm nice, man. I'm nice. Happy to be here, man. We're happy, Very really, excited. really happy Very to excited. have you. Yeah, like, honor, yeah. honor to have you here. We're uh, we're pumped. Yeah, the excitement's mutual. Yeah, Absolutely. the moment, the momentum you've been just seemingly out of nowhere is is crazy. So we're glad we get to ask you some questions about uh, how it all started and everything like that. Definitely, I'm looking forward to it, man. I was really excited. You know, I like, I really enjoy what you guys do, and yeah, I, I'm just as honored to be here. So thank you too for giving me the opportunity to do this. So thank you, pleasure. likewise. Yeah, yeah, we really appreciate that. Let's um, get into it, though. Let's, exactly. let's get into it. Let's so do it. yeah, you're uh, you're a singer musician these days. Uh, where did music start? Uh, like catching your attention as a kid like when did you start thinking music was cool um so it started out on an early age because um my mom was very much involved with the church choir okay and so it started in church um you Is know she my like mom the star? oh sorry Cutting you no 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 you're all good uh yeah she was like a uh like a choir leader mm -hmm. type okay. thing but she sent she was like part of like a voice part you know mm. but she would always you know be singing at home and so i've been around music you know um directly from my mom and my mom's side of the family especially um everyone seems to sing you know cool. like we have like a pretty good amount of people that sing or are involved in music and stuff so do family events ever suddenly erupt into song Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> almost, almost all the time, you know. And uh, my uncle actually, he's a professional musician and also like a pastor. Okay. And he, like, anytime we organize family events, he brings his band, and he's like a rock, um, gospel rock type band. No way. Wow. And so, like, they'll bring all their instruments to like you know parties and stuff, jam, and, and like we'll jam out and stuff. So yeah. That's it's awesome. It's pretty awesome. Definitely. This church your uh, mom was involved in, or I know you're from, your family's from Ghana. Was that yep. here in Minnesota, the church? Uh, no, it was in Ghana. So music mm. started off in Ghana. Actually, um, I um, was born in Ghana, lived there for about 12 years, and then I moved to the U.S., um, to Minnesota, so straight I've to been Minnesota. Here. Yeah, straight to Minnesota. Oh, man. Interesting. <laughs> so cold, man. Like I can't <laughs> imagine. Interesting choice. The, yeah, I know exactly. Exactly. How exactly. how'd they pick Minnesota out of all the places? You got other family here? Yeah, so I'm here with my uh, dad and my sister, and my brother also is in the U.S. too. So, okay. but currently he's in Ghana, but mm. he he's been in the U.S. as long as I have been too. So, cool. yeah. Well, let's sorry rewind back from U.S. back to Ghana. So, yeah. around music from day one, mm -hmm. did you have any other roles in church musically or in yeah. school? Yeah, like I was saying. Um, so my mom would you know take me to church and stuff. And I remember there is a particular time where we had like a you know a pastor friend like invite us to a program. You know, and we were really close um, back then. So. You know, we went out there and we, I mean, we spent the night over there and stuff. But like, I was, uh, I was just a youngin and like, you know, my mom wanted to, you know, give me that opportunity to go out there and sing. And it was yeah. like, it was in front of like almost a thousand people. What? Oh my and gosh. it was like, yeah. It was kind of like a, 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 a scary experience, you know, like I was really nervous now that I think back to it, you know. Yeah, what age was and Yeah, I would say like maybe I was like eight years oh old. Oh my what? gosh, that's cruel. <laughs> maybe <laughs> eight. I, I, I don't know exactly what like, you know, You're age, very young. That's like very pushing young. you into the deep end to teach right. you how to swim type of thing. Right, 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 right. That's Absolutely. wild. Do you remember um, what? what music you were performing in front um, of everybody? Yeah, it was like, I was very much involved in like, you know, gospel music because mm -hmm. that's what like how I grew up and was around and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that was very much like my musical influence. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I did like a gospel song and, you know, like it was nerve wracking, but I, I got through it, you know, Sweet. and my mom was right there with me. Everyone was kind of, you know, 
cheerful and stuff. And that specific moment, I was like, man, this is, this is kind of real, you know, like this so is, I'm nine. meant, I'm meant to like do this. Cause you know, a lot of people were moved by it and stuff. And, you know, that's, that's what I try to make my music, you know, have that effect, you know, cause I think it's, it's supposed to move someone. Definitely. Like, so. Totally. Yeah. So what were the first couple steps after that? I mean, you're you're a young kid. It's not like you right. can go out and buy a home studio at that point. Right, or... right, right. Absolutely. So after that, you know, I was just going up in church and stuff. So I started singing in church. Okay. Nice. Um, and, you know, I started learning how to play the keyboard. Oh, um, wow. So then I started, you know, pairing those up. Um, I'm not very, like, you know, advanced, but mm. I knew enough to, like, you know, get away with, you know, playing or following along with someone when someone is singing, you know? Oh. So, uh, yeah, so I took that knowledge and eventually I was able to, you know, pair it up with the singing. And so I started singing and playing the um, keyboard at church okay. and stuff. And, yeah, it wasn't until, you know, years later that I kind of like discovered that, you know, I want to like, you know, write my own music. But uh, right. those were like the stepping stones, like, you know, being in church and being exposed to that and just, you know, being a part of it. Totally. Be, being in front of, of people. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Feeling exactly. like feeling at least semi comfortable with. Right, right. I don't know. Church, church for me growing up, they're big on like what's like God's gift to you right. or what's your gift for people that God gave you. And right. Absolutely. That, That's a, a very common theme for sure. Like, yeah. What did you just felt like this? This was that for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, You know, it's just like a, a feeling that you have inside. Like mm. it's like you have something great in you and like, you know, you have to put it out there. And yeah. It's not just the feeling that you have. Other people also tell you, you know, and confirm it that like, you mm -hmm. know, man, like you move people with your music and the way you sing and stuff. So like, yeah, you're meant to do this. And like, you know, it's it's always nice to hear that encouragement. Mm -hmm. But now I'm starting to like slowly believe it and, you know, fully emerge myself into like that persona or like, you know, Identity. that person yeah. exactly that's so, so. interesting so what yeah. what came first uh after the church performances did you do covers somewhere else or did you start writing your own music first oh so uh then you know it progressed to uh, coming to the u.s mm -hmm. um i went to shakopee middle school that's where i started and then um yeah what were the first sorry to interrupt what were the first few years what was that transition like you said obviously Man, the weather was a big it was change. cold yeah. yeah it was cold it was cold but um it was yeah it was it was an interesting transition you know it was definitely hard you know coming from you know somewhere that's completely different from you know completely different from what your current state, you know, and yeah. it's like, you know, such a cultural shock and, but slowly, you know, I overcame like all the obstacles and stuff and, you know, it was tough sometimes, but mm -hmm. I got through it, especially middle school, man. Like, were you yeah. in any like music classes or anything in middle school? No, not in middle school. Mm, no choir. Um, but I did sing like a couple of times and then it got the attention of like you know the choir teacher or something like that so what do you mean just like, like singing on your way to class or, or at lunch or? yeah we actually like made a song um i was like i think it was like when i was in eighth grade actually okay yeah we made a song top dog all right <laughs> <laughs> uh we made a song I, i'm trying to think of like the reason why we made the song or like when we performed it but we made a song and then we performed it in front of everyone and the grade to the school to the school wow yeah <laughs> um it was like uh it was some sort of event going on and it was mm. like you know 
we they gave us the opportunity like you know we met this guy who worked with us you know and like creating like you know the process and stuff hmm. and yeah that's actually interesting to think back to it i forgot that we made that song but uh so we made that song and it caught the attention of the choir instructor or whatever but uh but at that point i was in eighth grade you know the next step is high school right. so then she contacted like you know the choir instructor and in the high school, school at the high oh, school oh, the and, yeah. and it's yeah. like yeah like so i got connected to it and it was an amazing experience like i really loved it you know like so boom freshman year you're locked in a choir already yeah freshman year i believe freshman year Sweet. yeah i'm locked in a choir um were any know. of the friends you made the song with going to choir as well yeah absolutely uh i remember my my boy nico Oh, you knew him yeah. since middle school. Okay, since, yeah, okay. yeah, since high school, actually. <laughs> like, was when we locked in. Okay. But, um, yeah, he was uh, one of my good friends that, you know, I'm still kind of, t- I'm still really tight with, you know. Yeah. And, yeah, we were in choir together. It was such a fun experience, you know. And I've had experience just singing by myself, but being able to sing as an ensemble and creating music, like, you know, with different parts, Mm. um, it was something special, you know, and just being a part of it and not just like, you know, just being your own individual. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a, it was a really cool experience. It taught me a lot of things about, you know, just control and like, you know, how to blend and, you know, match someone's tone or you know yeah so yeah i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed singing you know those pieces that we did um and yeah so then uh it progressed into college uh, i went to gustavus adolphus um i'm gonna sweet. throw the yeah. brakes on right now before the show you had mentioned uh, a few high school performances right right yeah. um, perhaps with some live instruments right absolutely Could you tell us about yeah, those yeah, yeah. yeah so uh yeah so I guess, was this through choir or through like the talent show or yeah so i i remember doing like a, a couple of talent shows um in high school and you know it's just like the opportunity came up and you know yeah. i kind of took it and i think through that you know there was also opportunity for people to like, you know, kind of do things at, you know, uh, school events okay, to like, okay. kind of like entertain everyone. So like, right. you know, there was an opportunity for that too. And, you know, I just, I was just taking all of these opportunities and, you know, yeah, I just, I just went with them. I remember a distinctive memory of me singing and, um, at, at the pep rally in school, nice. um, like, it was in front of the whole school at the gym. You know, it was really, I was kind of nervous, not even going to lie, because these are your schoolmates, you know. Yeah, totally. You see them like, every single day. Right, exactly. <laughs> so it could really go well. Or it yeah. could, like, you know, but I was also really excited, you know, and I knew that I could do it because, you know, having that experience from when I was a kid and, mm-hmm. you know, kind of building that stage presence yeah. really grounded me. And, you know, I was nervous, like, Sometimes you don't even feel the nerves until like you're actually standing there in front of everyone, you know, Ooh, right. and the first like, you know, kind of note just struck, you know. Yeah. What and did you sing? An original song or a cover? I, I did a cover. I did nice. a cover of uh, Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, it was it was nice. So like <laughs> it's kind of crazy because like everyone was like sitting on the bleachers and stuff yeah. and just vibing. You know, I kept on singing and. At one point, I opened my eyes. Everyone was like on the floor, just like dancing. Oh my you know, gosh. Like, it was such a, a moving experience. And, you know, I definitely always will cherish that moment. Yeah. But yeah, like anytime they were doing like culture events or like, you know, opportunities for like entertainment or like, you know, showcase talent. Yeah. They Anywhere definitely. There's a mic. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like I took those moments and. Yeah, I just went with them. That's sweet. Had you started writing your own lyrics yet at that point? No. So you're just I did not. you're just like I'm a I, singer. I can sing yep. whatever. Give me the music. Absolutely. Let's get it. Right. Any teachers encouraging you to write your own lyrics yet? Whether it was the choir teacher, English teacher. Um, no, no, not one. yet. Yeah, just but curious. Like, everyone just kind of 
knew that I had the talent and they mm. just kept, you know, encouraging me and like pushing me to like, you know, keep going with it, you know? And yeah, I, I would say that I can't think of a teacher that told me like, hey, like you got to like start like writing your own music. Yeah, that works. Because like, you're already doing good. Yeah, huh? right, right, let's right, leave right. high school behind. Exactly. You said you went to Gustavus. Yes, I went to Gustavus. Um, so I had a scholarship for like, you know, being in choir and like what? the music program and stuff. Wow. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. And then I had a little scholarship dedicated for like voice lessons and stuff. Okay. So then I was able to, you know, go that route. Like, oh, nice. and it was a lot of like classical music. So it was like, it really trains you to, you know, really have that control over it like on your voice mm. um and it was it was a really moving experience i really liked that too what and, are some uh, things you learned in like a vocal lesson like you know how to match a tone how to you like know there on the yeah keyboard and keyboard like, boom, and, sing this for me boom, right sing this exactly like flashcards like and how to like kind of like emote and like move people with your music and not your body, you know, Whoa. like and like how to like, you know, kind of crescendo and decrescendo and just like, you know, kind of feel that emotion through the music. And it's not more about like my uh, voice teacher was always like adamant about this. And he said, it's not all about the things you do with your body or like, you know, but you got to move people through the music. Wow. And that's one thing that I took with me, like, you know. Um, and also I was involved in the jazz, um, program too. Okay, um, okay. yeah, I was in, uh, the vocal jazz ensemble Sweet. and I was also in Adolphus jazz, which is like, a like exclusive, like selective group or whatever of people. Wow. Um, and then the other one, the next step up was like a Gustavus jazz. I also was involved in that too. Oh, so nice. yeah, I got. Yeah, it was it was awesome. So Taking it definitely advantage of every yeah. opportunity. Right. Absolutely. Man. And then like that showed me a different side of music too, you know, like and imagine. I started like, you know, expanding my horizon as time went on nice. and stuff. We'll so. talk more about that after the break. We got to uh, take a break. Uh you can follow Caleb Gampson at caleb.gampson on Instagram. You're saying you're on uh TikTok uh, or no, Snapchat. Snapchat. What's the snap? Oh, <laughs> I guess if you're trying to get yeah, it, no, you no, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, like, if you want my snap, you can just like hit you up hit, on Instagram. Um, Instagram, yeah. But we'll be right back with <laughs> yeah. more Caleb Gamson <laughs> here on Dog Star. Wow. Bow Wow. Yeah. Bow Wow. Welcome back to Dog Star. We are sitting down with Caleb Gamson, kind of currently going through the timeline in the college years. Yes, sir. At Gustavus Adolphus, um, the numerous musical uh, societies you were a part of exactly um what were some of the showcases during college years like even if it was at a local bar or at the auditorium there yeah so i did i did a lot of performances in college at that point like you know i hadn't been exposed to like you know performing like anywhere out of outside of that institution right but i did you know cultural fest and like you know they had um like like different like um groups had like uh you know events and stuff okay. and then the opportunity would come for someone to perform and I just you know so I just kept on grabbing these opportunities and Smart. you know taking them and just building up my network and also like confidence as an artist um or like as a musician at that point mm -hmm. um so and writing your yeah. own songs yet? Or were you introduced yeah. that, to that through the curriculum of school? Yes. So at Gustavus, um, I remember it was actually the pandemic mm. when uh -oh. COVID hit. Um, is when I was like, you know, man, like, I remember I was like, I was kind of going through it. And then COVID also happened. And I remember getting COVID at that Oof. point. So it was like, um... It was really hard and I was like, you know, I got to start channeling these emotions that I'm feeling into something that 
can be positive and also inspire someone. Yeah. Mm. Like, and, you know, um, I discovered that, like, vulnerability is okay as an artist, you know? Mm. Like, you have to be vulnerable in your music and, you know, share some things about yourself. That's what, you know, people really gravitate towards and stuff. And Definitely. So I um, began to write my own music. I remember I wrote the first song, and I think it was like the end of 2019. Okay. Um, I remember I was in school. Yeah, I was in college. And I think it was like w when I was like writing finals. It was like right about finals or mm, whatever. Wow. Um, I remember I was like at the basement of my dorm, you know, just listening to beats and stuff and, you know, trying to cook something up, you know, trying mm -hmm. to put something together. Yeah. So... Yeah, so I kept running it and running it, and um, I found the perfect beat. And I was like, you know, I remember it was a Rod Wave beat, and it was just like, you know, it moved me, and I was like, you know, I can really vibe with this. And I started writing, and it's kind of interesting because my writing process, um, I remember it being just, once I started, I just wrote the whole song. Sweet. Like came from somewhere else, perhaps. Right, right. Exactly. I mean, like it progressed like throughout the hour or like, you know, maybe two hours that I yeah. used to write the song. But like I just kept getting the ideas. I just kept, you know, it was kind of it was kind of weird because like, man, I, I always thought like it was really cool when people, you know, wrote their own music. And, you mm. know, I had one wanted to do that. And it was like. Once I wrote that first song and, you know, it's like, man, like, this is kind of fun. Like, yeah. it's it's such a cool experience to channel your emotions to, you know, Create. something that can be positive and something that people can, you know, gravitate towards and also be moved by. So, yeah. So then that's when I, you know, wrote my first song. As um, you guys know, it's called I Mean It. Um, nice. Yeah. That's the song. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. That's that's when I wrote it. Um, so song. I wrote it in um, 2019, I said, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, yeah. So I wrote that song. And then shortly after, um, I remember writing another song. I've not released it yet, but uh, it's called Free Me. Okay. Um, but around the same time? Yeah. Around the same time. Because I was like, you know, this this is kind of fun. Like, this is exciting, you know, and... And therapeutic for you. It very therapeutic, like, yeah. 100%. Very therapeutic. And, you know, it kind of gave me a voice, you know? Totally. Like, even though, like, I'll be singing at all these places and stuff, like, sometimes I can get, like, a little bit shy, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, it just gave me a voice, you know? Totally. And just gave gives me, like an extra like bit of confidence too, you know, like mm -hmm. in myself. And so, yeah, I'm really appreciative of like, you know, being able to get to that step where I was like, I can write my own music now. So, yeah. so yeah. you, you started performing that right away after you wrote it or no, I didn't. So I, I you know, I shared it with a couple of people okay. nice. and they were vibing with it. Like they really loved it. You know, they gave me good feedback on it too, mm -hmm. but then I parked it up a little bit. Um, and you know, I was just kind of, you know, trying to finish up college mm -hmm. and like life just kind of happened and stuff. Yeah, pandemic, and, all that. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And probably not a lot of shows going on during that time anyway. You know no, I mean? no, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, um, yeah, COVID happened, you know, I spent that time, you know, maybe like writing those two songs and stuff. And, Say you know, polishing up college. What'd you end up uh, graduating with? Oh, I graduated with a uh, degree in psychology. That was my major Whoa. and a minor in biology. Whoa. So, yeah. It was kind of cool. funny because I could, I'm just like, till this day, I'm like, I could have done like a music minor or something <laughs> like that. But it's just things that didn't work out that way. But yeah. I was very much involved in music all four years of college. Like so, yeah. Um, I also had a question. Did Had you ever like uh, journaled? like in your life before you wrote a song or like i feel like hearing you talk about making a song mm -hmm. about like from inside of you and sharing right. it with people was like like a really uh 
like maybe something you were missing in life, like a way to like share right. what's inside of you with people. Right. Um, I didn't really journal. Okay. But I started like listening to like other artists mm. and stuff. I remember like at one point in college, I started listening to artists like, you know, Polo G, Roddy Rich, mm. um, and those kind of like storytellers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that kind of like inspired me. Like, you know, you can also tell your story through the music, you know? Right. Mm. And so then again, that inspiration from them and stuff, I kind of like channeled it to, okay, maybe I can, I can do this, you know, like I've, I've been doing music for a little bit now. Like, let's see what I can make with it because people are always saying like, Hey, you gotta, they're always saying you have to go to the voice or something, right. or you have to, you know, do something with music. Like, I'd love to see you do something with music. And yeah. I was like, you know, maybe it's about that time and it worked out perfectly, but speaking of which, I said that I had parked um, those songs, yeah, and you know, life just happened and yeah, stuff. What and um, if you want to reveal anything, you know, yeah, I, I the just the highs or the lows. Yeah, no, I I just think like you know, just getting out of co like going through college, trying to finish up, oh right, um, right. and like you know getting out of college that transition mm. um i was still like very much involved in music i'm always like doing yeah. like you know and sometimes i'll go to bars and stuff and do karaoke there oh, and stuff nice. so like you know take opportunities like that um and uh well you shove them put yeah, them aside I, focus yep. on life yep 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 exactly and then i uh actually met this guy um at the mall of america um, it's random. <clears throat> no, I was actually like, oh, man, I was having such a a tough day that that day. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember one of my friends told me to go grab them some food. So on the way there, I saw someone performing at the music store in MOA. Whoa. And I was like, you know, OK, I heard it. I was like, man, this is kind of cool. I want to check it out. And then I was kind of pacing back and forth, like, you know, <laughs> it was like something was drawing me to yeah. that place. But then I was like, you know, kind of questioning it. And so I went to go get the food, but the place was kind of, the, the, I think the place was closed. The food mm. place. Yeah, the food place yep. was closed. So I was kind of like, man, not today. Like, what's going on, you know? Yeah, like, I mean, win one. Exactly. Um. So then I went back to the music place and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to. Just gonna go in there and try to see if I can get the opportunity to sing. So I told the guy that was like singing through the microphone, I think he was playing the guitar, I asked him, Do you know this song? Do you know that song? Um, and I remember just, I started singing it, like, you know, and it got a little bit of an audience, like, you know, hey. a few people there. But then there was this guy named Walt. He was actually the saxophone player mm. that, um, that was on I Mean It. Um, oh, so whoa. he's a very talented individual. He plays the saxophone, you know, the flute, the piano. Whoa. So he helped me, you know, kind of orchestrate like that song The in terms of the instrumental side. Getting wow. but, studio musicians in for the the beat, the final beat. Right, right. So I was singing and then he comes to me and he's like, hey, man, you're dope, man. And he's like, I'm actually like a piano player. Like I play like the piano. And he's like, let me see if I can, you know, come out there and like play for you. And the first time we, he was like a little bit, you know, reserved because mm. according to him, he was like, man, when I saw you out there, you were like on fire, man. Like you didn't care. Like whoever was there, you were just like, I'm going to sing and wow. that's what I'm going to do. Like, yeah. and it really moved him. So he got my number and, you know, we started talking and stuff. And, um, he called me a couple of times and I was like, you know, like, he's like, Hey man, we should, we should work. And like, you know, like we should get together, you know, we can send me a list of songs that you know how to sing and right. we'll try to see if we can put some things together. And then I was like, bet. And then I, sh I remember that, you know, I've actually wrote 
you know, a couple of songs. Mm-hmm. And so, Gathering yeah. dust on the shelf. Exactly. <laughs> so I shared that with them because at that point, um, I remember I went to the studio and recorded the songs. Like when I wrote them, I recorded oh. the songs at the studio, uh, at, at a studio. At but, school or at Walt's uh, place? Uh, it Me was either. actually with, uh, um, a Mankato artist too, um, called Demo. Okay. Oh, D dot M O. Um, and part of the how, Forever yeah, how Three you collective, yeah, like, like, tough was that before right. or after Walt? Before right, Walt, no, man. Man, it's kind of tricky, like thinking about like all the timelines and stuff. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get my <laughs> trying to get my thoughts together. Yeah, no. Actually, worries. initially, the initial, the first original recording was done by uh, Collins Make Beats. Okay, oh, Collins Make Beats. Yeah, so I got tapped in with them from huh. um, Nico. Um, which from like high school, at that uh, yeah from high school and at that point Nico and I also did like a a collab of a song called uh, something special yeah um and so at that point I had been tapped in with Colin makes beats so I went to record those two songs that I had you know like planned out or whatever yeah. mm-hmm. and I recorded them but then I parked it you know mm-hmm. and I kept sharing that with people okay, okay. and so I shared it with. Walt and I told him hey man like I recorded this song and you know like I got a YouTube beat I got a I got the beat off of YouTube you know mm-hmm. and you know I just don't want to deal with all that you know copyright stuff yeah, and totally. so I was like yeah why don't we just try to see if we can make something out of it mm-hmm. and so that's when you know we started getting together and you know putting it piece by piece he started with the bass like you know um like basic chords on the piano yeah um while i sang it and then we started adding all the layers to it and then he added the saxophone to it and yeah man it just kind of felt like it was it was just meant to be like it was like wow. faith you know because mm-hmm. i had recorded those songs like two years ago but like i didn't like release it yet mm-hmm. and it's like i had all those elements you know, I felt like it was it was now the time to like you know do it because like I had the missing piece like of wow. like you know getting that aspect of that song because I feel like that's what it really needed you know right and yeah I was I'm very grateful for him um and yeah he was it just kind of gave me an extra bit of confidence that like hey. Like after doing this, I feel like the song is like we'll be ready, you know. Wow. Yeah. Um, and also like another thing is that like at that time in my life, the people around me were very supportive in terms of like I was dating this girl. Um, her name's Danielle. She's like my best friend. Um, but she was very much supportive and it was really powerful because like yeah she always like believed in my music and you know also gave me that assurance that you know someone that you care about also believes in what you believe in you know yeah that's mm-hmm. huge yeah and shout so, out shout out Danielle hey yeah, Danielle exactly yeah. <laughs> um but uh yeah it was at that time, I felt like I was in a really good space in my life um, that I was ready to, like, you know, put that song out there. That's wow. So then I connected with Walt, we did our thing, and then we went to go record with um, another producer. Um, their, um, their name is uh, Mock Studio Productions. Okay. Um, um, and the artist, uh, Miss Demo. Um, D dot M dot O. Oh, his name is Dylan. Shout out to Dylan. That's um, the Mankato crew. Yeah, he's the Mankato right. crew. Um, he also has a collective called F3. Shout out to F3. Um, and it's just like they're a really fun group of guys, you know. Nice. And Demo especially is an impeccable producer because he's not only there to like you know hit buttons and say press play or Mm -hmm. you know stop it you know he's an artist too so he's like always listening for ways to you know push you vocally and he's always like finding creative ways to 
you know, bring in different melodies and stuff. So it was like, it's a really cool experience to, you know, do that song with him. Totally. Um, and he really, I felt like he really brought it out. Um, so, yeah. So at that point, I recorded that song. And yeah, I actually kept it for a little bit. And I remember having a conversation with Nico. Mm. <clears throat> and I told him at this point, hey, man, like, Nico had been a person that also, like, was very inspiring. And he believed in what I had and the gift that I had. And he was like, wow. hey, man, you got to, you know, you got to lock in. You got to put yourself in that, you know, persona or identity like like I'm an artist, you know. And you got to gotta put something out there, man. And he's like, I believe in you. So uh, I shared with them. We we're always conversating and stuff. And I shared with them that, hey, man, I'm ready to, you know, put the song out there. So we sat in the car and we listened to the song. And... He was like, man, I love the song. It's impeccable. It's incredible. Um, but I think you can add a little bit of flair to it to take it to the next level. We'll hear mm. more about that flair when we come back from another break. We're sitting down with Caleb Gampson here on Dogstar. Bow wow. Bow wow. Welcome back to Dogstar. Sundog sitting down with Caleb Gampson talking about that extra spice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Definitely. what ended up changing after Nico said that you should go back in and before you released it? Yeah. Um, so another side note, shout out to the producer um, who put everything together. Um, his name is Sector Made It. He's one of my uh, friends or like childhood friends that I grew up with. Um, so Ghana? we went to school together in Ghana. Nah. And Whoa. then, you know, Whoa. fast forward, you know, I found out that he's a producer too. He's also an artist. Um, so, you know, we had the elements of the instruments recorded live in the studio. Yeah. And then he was the one that put it together and added a beat to it. So, Ooh. yeah, it was something that was definitely created, you know, and very organic and stuff. So, but uh, Nico and I had a conversation and, you know, he told me you, you got to add a little bit of a flair to it. You know, at that point, you know, I've showed people the song so many times, you know, like I've, you know, I feel confident about it, but. It is what, the song to you, but yeah. because you haven't released it, Nico knows that you could. Right, right, <laughs> exactly. So then, you know, I set up that studio session and, you know, I added a little bit of flair to it. That's why, you know, like towards the, the end, you, you could really like feel those emotions because mm. he was like, you know you got it in you and you got to start, you know, believing that you got it in you. And that really moved me. Um, and so since then, yeah, yeah it's been up from there, man. That's and then, cool. yeah, I've been, since then I've been getting more into the process of writing music and creating different, you know, tastes and like different kind of vibes and styles and stuff. Yeah. Um, and just kind of building that whole, uh, portfolio as an artist you know Sick. so Sick. so much to look so much to look forward to yeah like, we can't wait to of, see where you go with it uh yeah. you are we're talking about you got a show it'll be come out the day after this comes out yeah um, i have a show it's gonna be at the treasury in st paul april 22nd wow. um i would love to see you all there i uh, have so much um new music that i'd love to share with you guys i'm bringing some artists out there cardia um, I'm going to bring uh, Toby, I'm going to bring uh, Nico, and I also have like, you know, a little surprise for you guys. And, you know, it's going to be a fun experience. So, uh -oh. yeah, I'm looking for hey, it. That's, for it too. that's at the Treasury in St. Paul. That's yeah. uh, tomorrow, Bro. April 22nd, yep. 2023. 6.30. <laughs> I think doors and tickets, um, the doors open at like 6 o'clock, but it's at, the show starts at 6.30. Perfect. So, now, what do you do to prepare for a, a show like that, it, that yeah. you care to reveal? I don't want you to give away too many secrets. Right, right, right. Absolutely. So I just, you know, run through the songs. I, you know, listen to the songs for like, you know, the flow of it. Like five I, times, ten times, a hundred times. Yeah, like whenever I feel like it, like whenever, like, you know, there's opportunity for me to just like listen and be in my own space and yeah. sing you know especially in my car like i'm always singing while in the I'm car that's stuff. smart so, okay yeah i'm always singing and i'm always like finding different melodies and stuff and nice. i love performing live man it's a whole different experience you know 
Like That's you're able great. to like take it to the next level. So I'm gonna really be, excited. Going to be performing the two songs that you brought with today. I mean it, or Thief in the Night at yep. the show. Yes, sir. Oh I baby, oh, yeah. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about uh, like what I mean it means to you. Like what kind of uh, yeah. Like uh, mood would somebody be in if they were about to pop that on? Or what mood were you in when or you what, wrote it? What would the weather be like? Yeah. So I would say like I wrote I mean it like you know like I said. I was going through a hard time in life mm. and stuff, and I was just kind of, like, reflecting back onto it. Like, you know, um, at the end of the day, I'm still going to hold to those core values of, like, you know, family and, like, you know, love and, like, you know, really um, showing people that, like, there is still something positive that can come out of, like, you know, the struggle. Mm -hmm. so I feel like anyone can can listen to it you know it's it's for everyone from nice. you know infants to grown-ups I feel like you know like someone can connect have something to connect with and yeah, yeah. powerful message for right. sure yeah. I absolutely. mean you've seen the power of music since you were a, a young human right absolutely so to absolutely. be able to bottle that lightning and share it with the world and that's the first Definitely. song you ever wrote yeah first so song remember i ever that. wrote wow. exactly that so wow. nice. exactly first first Ooh. solo song i ever wrote and then the second yeah. track you brought with you second track you guys are about to hear is thief in the night and that's yeah. a, another collab with colin makes beats correct? right absolutely shout out to colin's make beats he yeah. he's an incredible producer but uh with that song um i actually went to ghana um, after not going, not being in Ghana for X amount of years. Mm. So I went to go visit my family out there and I started writing the song there actually. Wow. Cause I was like, you know, I'm back home, you know, like I got to really reflect and like, you know, I was hearing stories from my mom telling me, you know, experiences that, you know, she went through when I was a, a kid and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, I was just taking everything in mm -hmm. and it was like a powerful reflective moment. So that's when yeah. I started, you know, it's a very reflective song, but it's it's bubbly and you know, like I I yeah, yeah. I really love it. <laughs> when was the so. last time you were in Ghana? Then when you were writing that? Yeah. Uh, and and that was uh I believe in twenty twenty two. Okay. So yeah. still pretty recently. Yeah. Uh twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two. Like okay. it was like December to January when is when I came back. Oh wow. So yeah nice. so then when i came back you know tapped in with collins and i was like i got some heat man and yeah yeah we recorded it and yeah sweet i, I, I love to hear that <laughs> yeah so i've got some like look into the future questions well i mm -hmm. guess the future is just tomorrow for this next one but like right. what song are you most excited to perform uh at the show Ooh, <laughs> at sam's night out yeah yeah um I'm excited to perform a song, a collab that I have with uh, Nico and another artist called uh, Sachi. Ooh, and it's it's unreleased. a fun song. Yeah, it's an unreleased song. And, oh, baby. You know, I'm going to give you guys a little taste of what's going to happen, you know, and, you know, a lot to expect in the future. I've yeah, been working. Yeah, you're saying you got and, some songs with Nico just, like, in the bag, ready yeah, to go. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. We have we have about five, maybe six songs now. So, oh, And we know you're yeah. not legally allowed to yeah, tell us I too much. I was going to say, right. this next question might get into yeah. too, many, too much spoilers, right. but what are you most excited about for this year? This year? Um... Yeah, this this year I would say that I'm most excited for making connections and just getting opportunities to perform. Yeah. And now that like, you know, I've I'm building my portfolio as an artist, I wanna like get out there more and like expand, you know, not only like the stage or like how many people like, you know, just kind of aim aim for the top, you know, and just keep on making those connections. That's, That's nice. nice. We yeah. got about two minutes left. What's some advice to artists who have those shelved songs and haven't released them yet? Any advice to younger artists? Yeah. Uh, if I could give advice, I would say, you know, you got to believe in yourself. That's where it all starts, you know, and you got to have that confidence in yourself and let it be portrayed in the music. And, you know, don't look at what other people are doing or, you know, just embrace how unique you are and 
just believe in yourself because that can that's that's what the artistry you know stems from because you know it's not it's not sometimes it's not about you know just the music itself but the story that it tells mm. yeah, totally. about the artist so just keep believing in yourself don't be afraid to be different you know and keep on working and dream big dream big Ooh. there's the stage is big enough for a lot of artists so just dream big and um, it'll come true well we we can't express our it. gratitude enough for you taking the time to talk with the dogs oh yeah this share, was a share uh, your story a wonderful experience shout out to dog star podcast you hey. know appreciate you guys yeah, we'll thank keep, you so we'll much for having eye me on what you're doing man uh Absolutely. caleb gameson on spotify you can subscribe yep. to that that's where he's about to be dropping all these new tracks yep. caleb dot gameson on instagram and yep. go, go see this show tomorrow in st paul man yep yeah at the that's treasury. A, yeah the sam's night out at the treasury yeah 22nd Boom, boom. Don't Keep, miss it. Yo, yeah. Thanks again so much for your time. Appreciate you. Um, Appreciate thanks you. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah, so, we'll see you next week. Like, subscribe, Dogstar Podcast. Follow us at Dogstar Podcast. <laughs> Bye, well. <laughs>
Wake up every day, I pray Gotta thank the Lord today For giving me another day So I gotta give him all the praise This world is very crazy, it's never been too easy Even in the womb, mama had to keep on fighting just to see me When I got to this world, everything just seemed confusing But I managed to make it through all the troubles that came every season People keep asking me, how did you do it? How you escape all the pain, now you dealt with Do you remember or did you forget it? Going through things I was never expected Yeah, I was hurting but never objected Stuck to the path that was never neglected Even though I was highly afflicted How to keep a watch and how to be I could never do this alone God was having my back on the throne Might have been lost, my back on my zone Humble yourself if you're thinking you're grown Life is not meant to be done on your own Stop at the cap and I pick up your phone Cause you just might be your brother's backbone Don't be hard or cold like a stone What is the meaning of your life? I'm just trying to stay awake in the life Is it the money or is it the ice? Make a mistake, now you're paying the price What is the meaning of life? Is it the people or is it the hype? Trying to figure if I'm doing what's right Talk and scripting like a thief in the night What is the meaning of life? I'm just trying to stay awake Is it the money or is it the ice? Make a mistake, now you're paying the price What is the meaning of life? Is it the people or is it the hype? Trying to figure if I'm doing what's right Talk and scripting like a thief in the night Every day's a blessing if you wake up, just be thankful With every decision you make, don't just rush, you gotta be mindful This life is full of twists and turns, gotta watch out so you don't get tangled When the vision is blurry, gotta stop and switch up your angle Money and fame is all just vanity, gotta wake up, just face reality Don't step down to cruel society, when you are different, they think it's insanity Never give up, step up to your abilities, hold it down, it causing commodity Hoping this music will save humanity, bring us peace and prove us what enemy What is your life? I'm just Trying to stay awake in the life Is it the money or is it the ice? Make a mistake, now you're paying the price What is the meaning of life? Is it the people or is it the hype? Trying to figure if I'm doing what's right Talk and scribble like a thief in the night What is the meaning of life? I'm just trying to stay awake Is it the money or is it the ice? Make a mistake, now you're paying the price What is the meaning of life? Is it the people or is it the hype? Trying to figure if I'm doing what's right Talk and scribble like a thief in the night I'm just trying to get the bread I'm just trying to get ahead To see my name as a threat But I gave him all my respect My own brothers never show love I see you fake, I don't trust you You think he bad, he got tattoos Me and my guys with some tycoons Big bosses on the high stoop Circle small, he got a few Touch one, gotta see the crew Yeah, yeah, yeah Had to pray to the Lord To be my light and my sword If you play with me, you be gone It's not a threat, it's a song Take it how you wanna take it No matter what, I'm gonna make it My brother Josh and my twin My brother Nico, he's a king God bless me with this music There ain't no time for excuses I'm gonna get it and I mean it Just watch me cause I'm gonna what prove is it What is the money in life? Is it the money or is it the ice? ice, 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 ice. What is the meaning of life? What, 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 what is the meaning of life?